Hi folks, John Covington here. Uh, before we get going, if you would please uh, like uh, and subscribe, we sure would. Uh, we're up to 65 now uh, subscriptions. We're shooting for 100 by the end of April, so we'd love for you to, to uh, subscribe. Hopefully we're giving you uh, some worthwhile content. Uh, up until now, our small group that we've been having, we've been we've been getting to know one another. We've been talking about uh, different issues and race relationships, uh, and we've just been talking and getting to know one another and uh, actually opening up some uh, some important dialogue uh, uh, as to how we how we feel about different issues. And it's been really uh, there's been some tense moments. Uh, but it has been uh, lots of fun. But we're now to the point to, uh, so what do you do about all this? <clears throat> I mean, we can talk about this until the cows come home, but, you know, specifically, what can we do as individuals to make things better with regard to race relations? So uh, <clears throat> my mom told me years ago, and uh, bless her heart, she, she died back in the, uh, in the late 1960s. And, but she said uh, something that has always stuck with me. And she said, you cannot legislate morality. And, you know, she was right. And, and I've seen people tr argue the point, saying you can legislate morality. You, you can't. You know, people are going to do what they're going to do, and it needs to be the right thing. Uh, so one of the things that we're going to strive to do in, in, in our small group is we just want to do the right thing uh, in relationships with one another. And as simple as that sounds, uh, that's really where we're headed w w with this, is we want to do the right thing. Uh, I c can't talk about, in today's climate, uh, ways to address racism without mentioning uh, the, the critical race theory. Uh, this is from Robert D'Angelo's book, White Fragility, and many corporations are uh, embracing this. And uh, I just have to ask you, does it sound like a good idea for your organization to get a group of people uh, and require them to attend a workshop? And in the workshop, you spend uh, most of the time telling one particular group of people that due to the color of their skin, uh, they're the cause of all problems. Uh, are you serving to endear these people uh, to your organization, to you, and to one another? Uh, or are you pushing them further away uh, into a dark corner of racism? Uh, and, and that's really for you to answer, but it, it, if that sounds like a dumb idea to you, it, it's probably because it is a dumb idea. And so I, I, I'm not going to talk about critical race theory. I've given you my opinion on it. I think D'Angelo's book has got some merit to it. Uh, she does mention some things in there that I think are true. She gives some, some comments that white people probably should avoid saying. But for the most part, I think 90% of the book is total garbage. So now we'll move on. So what's the alternative? And one of the reasons I think the book is total garbage is because I, we maintain that racism uh, is a spiritual issue. Racism is a sin. And you do not solve uh, spiritual problems with a secular mindset. There is nowhere in Scripture uh, that uh, will uh, condone um, separating people out due to the color of their skin where one race is good and one race is bad. It's just not in there. And so therefore, uh, I think it can be discounted as far as a solution that's going to work. Critical race theory is not going to work. It's just not. <clears throat> so what do you do? <clears throat> well, I want to go back to uh, our little group. What I would love, if I could snap my fingers and make it happen, what I would love uh, for you to do is to form a small interracial group uh, and study something that's more important than yourself and doing it for a significant period of time. A significant period of time is not two or three weeks. A significant period of time is three months, maybe once a week for an hour. Get to know one another. Study something. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the, the group that we have. Uh, 
we have uh, seven people in the group. We have uh, all men. Uh, we have uh, five white men that are over the age of 50. We have uh, one black guy who is, I'm going to guess, 45 or 50. And we have uh, one black guy uh, who is 25, and the whole group has just sort of adopted him because uh, he's young enough to be either our son or our grandson. And, uh, and that, that's our group. <clears throat> the group has, uh, and Donnie Lee is the young black guy, 25 years old, and uh, he said something several weeks ago that was relative, that I think was really profound. And he said, um, relationships are the enemy of racism. Uh, that relationships kill racism. And that's profound. It is As simple as it sounds, it's very, very profound. Uh, relationships just don't happen. And we're, we're going to talk a little bit about this group. And then in the next uh, several videos, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about leadership, uh, individual leadership, because leadership, uh, one of the effects of good leadership is good relationships. So if you are managing yourself well uh, and... Uh, you, your input, your impact into those around you is going to be positive. You're going to form good relationships, and according, and, and Donnie is exactly correct. Relationships kill racism. So, uh, <clears throat> tell you a little bit of some of the things that are happening in our group. That uh, uh, I would love to see you form groups and have these types of things happen. We've been together long enough. And I think we're four or five weeks now. And uh, to we've, we've gotten through all the niceties. We've been through some uh, tense moments in, the, in, in studying the, the book. Uh, but each week, <clears throat> uh, we laugh with one another. Uh, we lift one another up for prayer. And, 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 and so all of us are seeing that uh, we have uh, children that may have some problems that need prayer. Uh, there are financial issues. There's one guy looking for a job. There's one guy starting up a new business. There's one guy whose grandbaby is developmentally disadvantaged, and it's just a constant, uh, a, a constant uh, concern and worry. Uh, we have another guy who's got uh, some debilitating arthritis, uh, and there's just everybody has got something uh, that they need. Uh, they need prayer for. Uh, we uh, <clears throat> one of the, we're becoming friends. Uh, one of the guys th that is in our group is a high profile, uh, uh, a high profile government uh, a worker, government official, and uh, and uh, he took Donnie uh, Donnie Lee d down to his government office and showed him around for an hour and a half, and they had lots of fun. Uh, Donnie is starting up a new business. Uh, he's a former University of Alabama football player, and he's starting a business that deals with sports training. And his grand opening is this coming Sunday. And our group, uh, most of our group, are going to show up at the grand opening. Uh, my wife and I went over uh, last night and, and, and saw Donnie and his crew getting the things ready and everything for this weekend. And so we're becoming friends, and that's the point. Uh, <clears throat> if you become friends and something happens to one of your friends that's an injustice, now it becomes personal, okay? If something happens to one of my friends in this particular group, it's personal. And I will react as if it were personal. And that uh, that's critical and that's key. Uh, <clears throat> we, uh, and so I'm sort of want to end this particular video on trying to get you to at least start to consider uh, forming your own group uh, and, and finding resource material to study uh, and uh, take some proactive steps. Uh, so anyway, uh, we'd also like to encourage you to look at our blog. Uh, just got done writing a blog about the group and about leadership. You can go to our website to take a look at the blog. Uh, we're the only Chesapeake Consulting in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, so we're not hard to find. So anyway, uh, thank you and see you next week.